Hey guys, Richard here with Down Grid Survival. Today we're going to take a look at this MSR mini stove. <laughs> and what I'm calling my DIY mini stove. This is a, uh, a stove kit that I, I pieced together myself. And uh, we're going to take a closer look at that and figure out what is the best option for you. We're also going to uh, test this out. And uh, we'll go outside and we're going to test and just see how this thing works. So let's get into it. So, first of all, just a, a shout out because I was I was looking for a small uh, size stove that I can take with me in my EDC bag, and of course I looked and I've seen these larger stoves, but I had never really paid attention and realized that they made a smaller uh, mini stove until I saw one on another YouTube channel that I found just recently. I think you might like his name. The channel name is Zenon. Now Zenon he has uh, an outdoor channel where he. Uh, it's just lifestyle and some outdoor stuff that he does and he featured this and I thought what a great idea so I kind of stole his idea and uh, pieced one together myself so that's where the idea comes from I'm gonna put a link down to his channel down below go check him out so <clears throat> before I jumped in and, and uh, decided to build this one I went ahead and went online and looked around to see what I could find and I had seen Jetboil before uh, so I know Jetboil is a popular brand uh, in the outdoor community as well as this MSR and I decided to go ahead and pick up the MSR and uh, use that for my comparison today so let's just go ahead and take a look and I'm going to show you what this MSR uh, it's called the Pocket Rocket 2 mini stove kit so I'm just going to show you what this is all about inside here uh, there are instructions down inside here if you need them now basically what this is it's a, a small stainless steel container here and it allows you to heat up water or heat up food. It does have this uh, measuring cup uh, that allows you to uh, measure uh, any ingredients or fluids that you need and it kind of fits right over the bottom like that. Now aside from that measuring cup, around the, the, uh, the can itself, the cup itself, it does have this rubberized material here. Uh, presumably it's so that maybe you can grab it while it's hot, I'm assuming. Uh, I haven't tested this out yet. The lid I found is, I was a little disappointed that it's just a plastic lid. Uh, it does have, you know, a place here cut out so you can pour fluids out of it. And there's, a, there's holes right here in the top of the lid that allow steam and things like that out. But then inside here you have the, uh, the mini stove itself. I'll talk about that more in just a moment. We have uh, this little handy dandy. Uh, I'm guessing that's just so you can grab the cup and move it if the cup is hot. And I... I wasn't real sure why you would need that if this rubber piece here works. So that was a little confusing, a little redundant, not sure why, but they do provide that to you. Uh, let's see, down in here, uh, we do have, I didn't pull this out yet, this is a uh, just a little stuff sack to put everything in. All right, so there's the cup, um, just like I said, a stainless steel cup. Um, let's talk about this stove for a minute here now. So this is designed so that you can uh, screw this into the top of a fuel canister. Now if you notice, I don't have a fuel canister here uh, because it doesn't come with one. And I think that's very deceiving because in the online uh, marketing, you know, images and, and things uh, where they're advertising it, they clearly show this entire setup here and you know, it looks like it's got a fuel canister and on the side of the box it's got a fuel canister. Um, but you have to read the fine details to find out that it doesn't come with fuel. That's disappointing. We'll talk about more about that in just a second. So let's, uh, let's take a closer look at this stove right here. All right, so here's the stove. And it, it comes folded up like this. So uh, what you have to do, you just simply fold these little guys out. Uh, let's see if we can figure it out here. They, they manipulate a couple different ways. But we want to fold these guys out. There we go, just like that. Stick them all the way out there. And then you have uh, this right here, which is a way to control the fuel. Now, the, the purpose is you, you screw this in the top of your fuel can, and then you have a regulator here where you can regulate the amount of fuel coming out, which, also, you know, which regulates the flame, which is pretty nice. And this is nice and wide right here, so you can, you know, you can set your can on top of it or show you a side view. Uh, you, know, you set your, your coffee cup or a small pan or something on top of it and it allows you to heat up water or cook your food. Um, you know, so it's, it's, uh, you know, it seems to be well constructed. These are not flimsy at all. These are, these are pretty hardened, uh, pretty stiff. Uh, it's got a nice big uh, regulator right here, which is kind of nice. And so, you know, not a bad little setup I was thinking right here. 
uh, just disappointed that it didn't come with fuel. Now here's the thing, here's the big shocker. So this little setup right here is gonna run you about $90. That's crazy to me. I said, you know, forget this. I, there's no way I can afford you know, $90 for a little stove. There's, there's more important things that I need to be spending my money on than, than you know, $90 for a stove. Um, my goodness, let's put this back in here. So that's where I got the idea. You know, when I, when I saw what Zenon had going on out there, I went ahead and started taking a look at uh, what he did, and I found that I can do it significantly cheaper and better. Now that's key, cheaper and better. So let's show you what we've got here. First of all, I went out and uh, I believe this was his recommended can, or excuse me, uh, cup that he found. And I really like it. Um, you know, it's stainless steel. It is about the same size as the other one. So it's right at uh, three cups. If you go fill it up all the way to the very rim right here, it'll be three cups. Uh, but it's got these little fold out. Well, let's first, we'll start with this. It's got this little fold out uh, hanger right here. So you can hang it over a campfire. Uh, if that's what you want to do and it's got these little fold out uh, handles right here so you can grab it uh, like so and be able to drink from it uh, which i thought was really nice now i do like the fact that this has a metal lid okay so it's got a nice metal lid it does have little venting holes in the top which is nice i did already mention the bag right so we do have a bag now here's what i put inside mine i went out and i found a a folding spork um, that works well maybe it doesn't work so well so it just slips in right here I just pinched it too hard just got those two little holes right there and allows it to pinch and you might be thinking what in the world that's gonna fall apart no because then you've got this little slider right here so you can take this little slider and slide it down and then it squeezes everything nice and tight and it keeps it from folding so it doesn't you know fold on you when you're trying to use it and eat it so it's actually pretty decent it's not my favorite but it's the only one that I found that would fold up and fit inside this cup. And that was the whole point here. I wanted this to be self-contained. I want everything that I needed to be able to store inside this cup right here. So that works quite well. Here's the, uh, the stove. We're going to get back to that in just a moment. Uh, I went ahead and I purchased uh, this little guy right here. You fold this out and its whole purpose is to hold your fuel can which I have inside here I'll take that out too for a second is to hold your fuel can just to make it a little more stable if you're uh, if you're someplace where the ground is uneven uh, maybe it's a little rocky or something it gives you better support for your can so it doesn't start you know it doesn't tip over uh, you know if as long as you're working on a fairly flat surface you don't need to have this right here uh, but this was five dollars so I said you know what why not I'll pick one of those up as well and as you notice mine does come with fuel because well <clears throat> I purchased fuel uh, we're going to talk more about fuel in just a moment so with that set that aside now you can see the inside of the can um, yeah and it does have markings I don't know if you can see it on camera but it does have markings right here that shows you uh, you know where the 8 ounce and the 16 ounce marking is or you know total 750 milliliter I think this is uh, so yeah pretty nice I have this mini lighter now this is a mini lighter because it fits inside here nicely a full-size lighter does not fit so if you decide to get this set up make sure you get the mini lighter talk more about that in just a moment too let's take a look at this stove now this stove comes in a nice little pouch and voila that's the stove you know that's it this is a small little guy and I love it for that reason because it fits down inside my my cup here along with all these other parts and pieces so let's take a look so this guy you simply fold him out like so so now he's opened up and it's got a small regulator right here doesn't need to be too big but it also folds out and allows you to regulate the fuel so with this open, you can still set your can on top or a small pot or something. Show you what it looks like on the bottom side. Uh, it fits on there just fine. Be nice if these were a little bigger, but then again, if it was bigger, it may not fit compactly inside here like everything else. So this one is, uh, what was this called? This was called Desert, I think it was called Desert Fox. Uh, and this is uh, something that Zenon had and, uh, you know, like I said, it's it's... It's perfect I think it's just the right size to fit inside this cup right here now talking about that for just a moment when you're out there shopping 
you're going to see that there are other brands, right? Now, here's a brand I want to show you real quick and show you the difference. This one is actually made by Gas One, the same company that makes the fuel right here. So this one, uh, it operates a little bit differently. You got to fold these guys out. They just kind of swing around and then you fold these little pieces out like so. So you can put your can on top of it. It does have a big regulator. Now what's nice about this is it has an igniter, okay? It's got an igniter right here, so you don't need the lighter. This does fit inside here. It's extremely tight uh, as long as you don't use um, the lighter. And if you leave out this little guy for your, your fuel can, then this will fit inside there too, and you will have one with an igniter. Now here's the surprising thing. This guy right here is 10 bucks. 10 bucks. That's all it is. This one right here, the one I like, the one I prefer, it was 12 bucks. You can't beat that. Okay, let's talk about this fuel for a minute now, because there is, there's a lot of different brands of fuel out there, and they, they come in different size, you know, different quantities of, of fuel. And it's important for you to know, if you're planning on do, doing this setup right here, this cup is four inches diameter across here, and four and a half inches tall. And when you go and you start shopping for fuel, you have to make sure you get one that's actually gonna fit inside here. So what I have here is the 3.5 ounce, or uh, re referred to as 100 gram size can. And when you get the ones that are the 100 size, or, or excuse me, the 100 gram, most all of them that I've seen so far are three and a half inches across. If you get one that has a larger quantity, it's about four inches across or bigger, and it's not gonna fit inside here, okay? I saw another video talking about the different brands and what uh, fuel is better than the others. And, and quite honestly, uh, they're all about the same. So it really doesn't matter what brand you get. If you buy it locally from one of your sports stores, uh, you're gonna get it a little bit cheaper than what you get on Amazon. On Amazon, you're gonna pay about $1.50 more. Uh, at your local store, you're probably gonna pay you know, about $4.95, you know, five bucks for this can right here. So all in all, this can right here was uh, right at $20. We got this right here, which you can get locally for $5, so that puts us at $25. We got our stove right here, which was $12, so that puts us at $37. Um, I spent $10 for this right here, that puts me at $47. I spent a dollar on this right here, that puts me at $48. And this, I think, was $5. Yeah, I think it was $5. So all in all, I've got $53 tied up into... Uh, my DIY kit here and you know what it's better than MSR because it comes with the fuel it's got this little stand it's got a, uh, a spork I've got a spork um, this one doesn't have any of that you know this one doesn't have an igniter so you'd have to buy the lighter to, to add to that kit this is everything right here uh, this is everything you need to get started with cooking up uh, some soup or for cleaning some water you know boiling some water or uh, making you know some hot water for some coffee or for your freeze-dried foods or something like that uh, this right here is the way to go for $53 keep in mind the holidays are coming at the time of this video this is almost uh, this is at the end of October so the holidays are coming these make great gifts for the ones that you love we're gonna go out and we're gonna test this now and I'm gonna let you know just how fast this stove will boil water and I'm also going to let you know how long these, one of these uh, fuel cans will last. I'm guessing it's going to last about an hour if we run it uh, continuous, but we're going to go find out. Okay guys, let's get to the results of this test, but before we do, a couple things I failed to mention. First, this kit as assembled is one pound, two ounces. Okay, so that might be important for you to know. Also, this little stand here for the canister, uh, when you get it, it does not fit inside this cup. So what you're going to need is uh, like a piece of sandpaper or if you have a file or something and just file down these little feet and these little corners right here a little bit. It's just extra plastic. Just file that down just a little bit and then it'll fit down inside there without any problem. And hey, before we get to the results, if uh, you know, it took me about two hours to record this video, it's going to take me about four hours to edit. So smash that like button for me and let me know that you appreciate that. I do appreciate you watching this video. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe. But not only that, ring the little notification bell and select all notifications because YouTube likes to censor channels like mine and they don't push the videos out there very well. And so just because you subscribe doesn't necessarily mean you're gonna see my future videos unless you hit the all notifications. 
then you get the little notification uh, red dot up above and then uh, you'll know that hey I posted another video now let's get to the results of this test so you know nothing scientific about it I use tap water I try to make it uh, not quite room temperature maybe a little cooler I started out with the uh, 16 ounces of water without the lid and that took six minutes to boil and that was just a little disappointing I was expecting it to be a, a lot faster than that so I ran the test again used 16 ounces of water put the lid on it and it boiled at four minutes so that was a lot better so I felt good about that ran another test this time I used just one cup of water one eight ounces of water and uh, I also turned up the regulator a little bit to get a little higher flame and realized that you know I could boil water in just two minutes so that's pretty impressive now from there we went ahead and let the uh, the can burn out um, and it ran for an impressive 80 minutes I was pretty surprised with that but this thing it was usable up to 80 minutes after that the flame started to die down some and it just wasn't uh, wasn't as strong and so I just went ahead and stopped the clock right there so at 80 minutes uh, you know this little uh, 100 grams of fuel will last you a long time if you're just boiling the water like I did you know you can easily get 25 30 uses out of it if you're cooking food or larger amounts of water you know do the math figure it out uh, you won't get be able to use it as much but certainly for about six dollars for uh, this little can of fuel uh, getting that much use out of it I was really really impressed all right that's it for this video hey make sure you smash that like button if you have any comments leave them down below for me I'll try to get back to those remember the holidays are coming I've got links for all of these products down below so you can assemble this kit for yourself and I just checked and I was able to find a couple of these components a little bit cheaper so now you're right at fifty dollars for everything uh, that was in this kit a lot cheaper than ninety dollars for this uh, MSR kit right here which doesn't contain fuel doesn't contain this fork doesn't contain this little uh, canister holder uh, plastic lid no lighter you get the idea uh, just tremendous value here not so much over there hey I will see you in the next video